Today I want to talk about the apoyando on the classical guitar. What we call apoyando is actually the rest stroke and this is one of the three basic movements for the guitar performance or the three basic movements that we use in the right hand regarding the guitar performance. Um, apoyando is the most natural movement as the word means, as the meaning of the word apoyando is to lean, so to rest on the upper string in this case or to lean on the guitar, or to be resting without using force, but just the weight of your body. So this is what a bayando is about. So one finger performs and rests on the other string. And many people just think that a bayando, um, let's say, is a matter of force, or is used in order to play forte and tirando to play soft. Or I heard people uh, commenting that a bayando is not good to be using fast passages. All this is actually fake because the apoyando is the most natural movement as I already said. And we develop a force in this direction and the second string in this case offers a resistance or an opposite force to stop the movement. Every force develops an opposite force and equal like Newton said in his book that came out in 1687. Uh, according to that rule, you may understand that the most natural movement and convenient and uh, uh, supplying us or giving us the relaxation needed in order to perform is the apoyando. So you can see that the finger stops there and in a fast apoyando, also the finger stops in all the time. To the next string. Um, regarding the inquiries of some people in the internet, we are able then to combine whatever co uh, finger, you know, to use any combination, any fingering. I will start now with I. You see? I may start with M. You know, from up to down, or from the low string to the high string, I also can start with I, as well as with M. But if we understand how the movement is, how the relaxation is to be applied, and understand that the speed is a consequence of uh, relaxation and regularity, we can do the same with M and A. So here we go, M A. Starting with M and from here down again. And we can do IA. Now I try to put the video in slow motion. Also do it. I'm playing now in the normal area where we do perform, so it's not too metallic, it's not extremely sweet, but okay. so you, you can see now that apoyando is not a movement that we use only for forte. That's wrong. We can actually apply the same sound if I have and tirando, you're gonna see. is to short the recording because it has been quite long. So every finger, we, we go down with the ring finger and then I'm going to be able to have the same tone. If I go metallic or doesn't matter. I have to be able to control what the tone quality is going to be like. So it's not obvious. It's just a matter of I'm going to show you some few passages only where we go up and down 
in this case there was another request in one of the videos I have posted. So how to apply this in the in the real performance? I'm going to show you several passages. One of them is the second part of the first movement of this beautiful sonata by Nicola Paganini. was about if the fingertips are lifted, are bended or not. You know, the, it is important to let the hand actually as natural as it is. And you can read and get more information regarding all these points, the important things that we are talking today in my book, in, in uh, the articles I have published in the website, uh, in the, of the website of the publishing house. You all know about it. So, it is important that the, the hands are as natural as possible. So we don't have to bring the fingers straight before the performance. We don't have to try just to move one joint of the finger. All that, a lot of thoughts, too complicated. It should be as easy as possible. And when I put my hand, everybody has their hands like this. Nobody goes with straight fingers on the road. When I let my hand just fall on the guitar, and you do that, the finger moves up to the string. And then, of course, there is a, as a consequence of the stopping of the upper string, you can see that the finger is may be quite straight. Relaxation happens right there. If I'm plugging and I stop, and the finger is waiting that the next one comes in. So you may see that there is an angle here and that this finger, this, these joints are straight, but this is as a consequence, it's gonna be it's going to be relaxed and it's, it cannot be before the performance. It is a difference, or there is a big difference, if before plucking I am like that. You've got to understand that that speed is a consequence of relaxation. And we can actually use the apoyando for very cantabile and relaxed natural scale in the first position, starting with I one time. Here, starting with I, and now with M. Starting with M and introducing ring finger. Now, I go up with I. Well, I hope this video could clarify some questions that have been placed in the last days. I am preparing a portal which is going to be online soon. It's going to be a very special thing because it's going to be a private channel for teaching and where everybody could place inquiries and questions regarding musicality, performance, technique. It's going to be focused more on passages, on things that are problematic, let's say. I will only have time to have three or four inquiries per day. Uh, short passages, an amount of bars, an amount of uh, notes that could be musically or technically a problem. And uh, people could then get to me, could get back to me, and I would reply within a day or two days with answers. Um, the portal is going to be soon online. I hope you all stay tuned for the news.